Hello and welcome to my second Blender video tutorial. This time I will not be talking or turning one of my PDF tutorials into a video tutorial. I will be showing you how to create a, a, a sphere which has been cut to look like this. If we go around it, you can see I've, I've cut it. So, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So, let's get started. So, I'll be using Blender 2.62, though 2.61 will also work fine. I will be using the Cycles Render Engine for materials. And, yeah, that's basically all you need. Okay, so, click File, New. So, let's start. Delete the default key. Add in a sphere. Okay, now change the segments over here to you have to have them pretty high for a nice effect. So I'm changing it to 125. But if your computer goes down, put them lower. I'll actually put them 197. And then also the rings. My computer's already slowing down. Anyways, uh, 152. So it's moved. And we have our sphere which is going to be cut. So let's go to front view. In one, if you are stuck in the perspective view and want to get to orthographic view, it's numpad 5. Just in case you know. Okay. So let's click add um let's add a cylinder. Scale the cylinder just so that it just scale it so you can't see the sphere anymore. And then scale it along its Z axis. And so I would say scale it 0 0.05. That's good. Now shift D, duplicate, drag it up 0.3. Shift D, Z, just press the Z button, duplicate 0.3. Shift D, Z, duplicate 0.3. Now select this middle one again. Shift D, Z. Duplicate uh, on the Z axis down. Shift D, duplicate on the Z axis down, and again, Shift D, duplicate on the Z axis down. Okay. So now select all of your rings that you have made with the cylinder and join them with the key. Press Ctrl J to join them into one mesh. So now you can see they're one mesh. Now we're going to go into Booleans. So select your sphere, go to the modifiers panel and click add modifier. Add a boolean modifier. See, make the object cylinder point zero zero three. And then change the operation to difference. Now hit apply. Select your rings, you make your cylinder, and you have a sphere that can cut. And it's the great thing about money, uh, about Williams. Okay, so now add in another UV sphere, and uh, I'm just gonna to speed up the process so that my computer doesn't go freezing. I'm gonna just set the segments and rings to 32 and 16. Now drag this sphere outside that deep. Drag it from where you started. Uh, 0 0.7 on the x axis. Okay. Well, I'm going to drag it 0 0.6 actually. Now select our ring cut. Our cut of the sphere. Add a boolean modifier again. Try and make the operation difference again. And then make the object sphere 0.001. Okay, hit apply. Delete the sphere. And what we have, we have a cut. We have a little cut sphere. Now select it, just shave it smooth. And then to get rid of these ugly edges, add a edge split modifier. And so now we have a nice 
actual green cut steel, not the material. Um, as I said, I'm using the cycles and angle engine, so make sure you have it selected. And go to the materials panel and add a new material. Now we're going to go to the, com the node editor. So you keep down the control key and use your left and right arrows to get to the composite in layout. Now I can't see my materials. Why? Okay. Now, first of all, make sure you are viewing the shader maps. Go so click there. And then if you still can't see it, maybe you have another material. Make sure you have that material point zero zero one selected. Now select this diffuse DSDF and delete it. Now go to the add shader glossy no sorry glass DSDF and drag it up. Connect the DSDF output to the surface input and change the color. I'll make it I'm gonna make it a new going to be a dark maroon so I'd say about there okay now you can render do a test render so, now our lighting needs a bit of attention so select your light and just make it a hem actually I want to see what happens when I make this okay now I'm going to make it a hem No, I'm sorry, I'm very confused <laughs> as to what I'm doing here. What am I doing? Sorry. Okay, anyways. So there you have your little thing. Now, it's not. So, go to the background and I'll see if this makes a bit. And change it to a white background. Nice and white. There we go. That that work. Okay, now you have a nice little cut sphere. So now you can position the camera. So I'm gonna switch back to the the default view. So control arrows, and I'm going to go into camera view. And then if you hold down shift F, you can actually control your camera speed up from now the wheel and then click when you have the right angle also you can go rotate press the x axis once and then again you can rotate along the x axis now i just want to bring my camera out so i can see the whole thing so grab again the z axis and then the z axis again and you can do that now let's give it a shot Very yeah, nice. If you want to minimize that grainy effect, you, are, you can change the pen tracing sample level to higher. So to do that, okay. To do that, go to the um, render tab. Go down until you get the integers here. Expand it. And then the samples and the samples set render to something like 20 or 30. And then render. And then render. And now it will refine it. It will look much better. It takes a little longer though, so just have patience. see now it's already the grainy effect is very minimal and it's already looking much better of course you could set your render in the samples integer to something like 100 or a thousand it will work picture perfect probably but um, it might take a little wrong rendering I uh, know if I did it here I'd probably be stuck in front of this computer for maybe an hour looking at my render and I don't think I have that patience anyways, yeah, it's finished with our render, nice 
and as you can see, we have a nice little cat. And that is the end of my little tutorial. Thank you for watching. Um, please leave comments below. I'd really like to know what you think of my video tutorial. And thank you very much. Till next time. Bye.